If growth hormone releasing hormone peptides wake up the DJ in the booth, Ipamorelin says, turn up the sound. Kind of like the hype man. All right, the big question is, why does everyone combine CJC1295 with Ipamorelin or Tessamorelin with Ipamorelin? Well, the logic here is actually pretty simple. So growth hormone releasing hormone allows that pulsatile release of growth hormone. And then there's growth hormone releasing peptides like Ipamorelin that amplify the message. They increase the amplitude of those growth hormone pulses and increased frequency plus amplitude equals a lot of synergy. So if growth hormone releasing hormone peptides wake up the DJ in the booth, Ipamorelin says, turn up the sound. Kind of like the hype man, it runs to the DJ and says, turn it up, man. And so the DJ will drop like a more potent, more bumping song. So basically it triggers the pituitary to release more of that growth hormone that it was prompted to do with the growth hormone releasing hormone peptides. And all of this also quiets another hormone called somatostatin, which basically reduces the noise and makes the signal a lot cleaner. And ipamorelin in particular is able to increase the volume on the track without increasing cortisol and prolactin, which some of the other growth hormone releasing peptides actually do. So that's why ipamorelin is kind of the preferred one out of the bunch. So you can see how ipamorelin is just a cleaner amplifier.